hello guys welcome to my channel um today i want to get in here real quick and just discuss three tips or three um main things that you need to name your new startup business so here are some three tips that um i have learned over the years of entrepreneurship and um that i have gathered from other people so this is one of the um things that people get stuck on sometimes um as simple as it sounds sometimes it can get complicated sometimes it can get costly if you do it wrong um you would have to redo it again as your business grows so why not just you know do it right the first time so you don't have to redo it or spend money um, fixing a mistake so step number one I would say three steps should I call it three steps or three tips either or step number one um, you want to pick something that is unique all of us want to be set apart all of us want something that is creative especially if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to start a business um, uh, 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 the likelihood is that you're a creative person uh, we want something that is unique and to get something that is unique um, you need some other sub steps to take so to find something that is unique meaning that it's not necessarily that you choose words that have never been used before or that you're doing something so abstract but really it is what is unique to you what makes your business you what makes your business yours or what makes your business that is connected to your gifts or your talent what is the story behind this name your name has to have a story that is what makes it unique is because remember you're going to be asked in interviews in uh a social media um uh what is it on the social media streets let me put it that way you're going to be asked constantly what is the meaning of your name or how did you come up with that name for your business so just picture yourself if oprah if you were sitting down with oprah what is the story that you would tell about why you picked this name for your company now with my working with my um coaching clients um i have learned that most of the times you know we try to think about something so far out that what makes your name unique is literally your why is literally something so simple and dear to your heart that you're probably overlooking or overthinking it so sometimes you started this business because you know somebody inspired you somebody in your family could be your mother your cousin sister somebody you met um your story you know about uh how you ended up uh discovering this gift of yours or a client you know or something or a problem or salute you know a problem that you're trying to solve that is connected to you what is your why this is what what is your why why do you want to start this business why do you want to start this service-based business why are you doing this what are you trying to accomplish or what do you want your results to look like and to really come up with this unique thing as for me as a christian um I really, really, the cheat sheet is really going the spiritual route and really finding time to pray about it and finding time to meditate. What I'll do is I'll do, I'll go walking or I'll go for a drive. Those are the two things that I do that helps me in my meditation. You can find out what works for you. But the first step first is really connecting to your spirit being. You need to connect to your spirit being if you're really trying to come up with something unique. You need to connect to the creator if you're trying to come up with something creative because he knows what he put in you he knows the vision that he gave you so definitely he knows the name that you can build an empire off of and the good thing about God is that he'll give you one word but trust me that one word or two words or however many words he gives you it is going to build an empire God never gives you something that is just for one product so take some time out meditate on it pray if you are used to fasting if you're a Christian you can fast to really get that clarity take a one-day fast two-day fast and just really seek closeness to your creator to find out what it is that you need to um, have this business be called because that would help you with your whole business plan trust me it sounds so simple but once you have the name and you have the story behind it you can you know 
almost create your whole mission statement for your company. You already know your yes and your no's of how you want to run your company. You already know what kind of company culture that you want to create around it. So that's why it's so important what you name, just like it's important how you name your child, you know, because sometimes we become what we are named. Words are very powerful. We all hear that saying. It is very true. So whatever you name your business is important. It does impact your, your, your company. So number one of how to find out um, how to create something unique is getting closer to your creator. If you're a Christian, you know, get closer to the Holy Spirit. Let the Holy Spirit lead you into all truth about what you should call your business. Pray, fast, meditate, go for a walk, go hiking, go working out, whatever you do that helps you to think clearly, do that. Um, and then number two, make sure that you have a story behind that name. Does it connect to a story so that when somebody asks you what it is, because sometimes people buy a story more than your product. Your product could suck, your product could be average, but they will buy it because your story behind it is so powerful. How many of you have bought something because of the story? I know I have. Like I have bought things off of commercials because of the story. I literally started paying a subscription for a water, um, a water project in Africa just off of a YouTube commercial that literally all they did was tell a story. This guy literally told a story about his life, why, how he came about creating this um, project. And that was it. And for like a year, I was sending money to somebody I never heard of before, but because of the story. Number two, scalability. Is this name scalable? Now, I know right now you're thinking of this as a small business. You're thinking of it as, oh, I'm starting small. This is just a start. But no, 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 no. We're thinking big. We're thinking scalability. Are you able to create more products with the same name? You know, it could be a different industry. It could be a different product. You just never know where this entrepreneurship journey is going to take you. You don't know where this startup is going to lead to. So for um, just to be sure that you don't have to keep changing names or keep changing uh, uh, logos and keep spending money to fix all those situations like I did, okay? Because your girl is learning from her mistakes and I'm trying to help you not do the same mistakes that I had, you know, gone through. Because I named my company the name of the product. Go figure, go go figure. I was just like, you know what? I don't, I can't, I'm not creative right now. I don't know how to name a business. So I'm gonna call it the name of the product. And then later on, when I started adding more products, I had to go change the name all over, redo the logo, redo the graphics, change everything. You can imagine even the domain name, all of that, it was expensive to change. So is that name scalable? Meaning is it general? Is it generic? Now you can always, you're always going to add something to the end of it that kind of describes what that business is about. So let's say you're talking about a food business. If you're naming it, let's say Louise Foods or something, you know, the foods can always be changed. It can be Louise Real, Real Estates or Louise Groceries, Louise whatever. But what we're focusing on you coming up with is the Louise part, yeah? So when you come up with that Louise part, the, the second part can be interchangeable. So focus on the Louise part and then whatever your, your thing. So let's say we're doing hair, Louise braids, what is it? Decors, you know, all of that situation. It can change, but the Louise stays the same. So what is that unique one or two words that you're coming up with? Um, and is it scalable? Because then I can always just use Louise and just change it. If I create Louise, the colors, the the style, the whatever is focused on Louise, the foods or decor or the second part of it. I don't know what the technical word to call it is. If you know what it is, put it in the um, comment section. You can change that up. But at least that's something that graphically is just a, a matter of just adding and subtracting. Number three is, um, is it available? So once you've come up with this, chances are if it's unique, if it has a story behind it, if God is involved in it, trust me, nine out of 10 times it's available. Now, even if it's not available, so you want to Google it, right? You want to Google it or you can go to um, your state's um, secretary of state and do a business search and just see if there are other names out there. Now, let's change your mindset on how you're researching. You're not researching to change your mind. You're just researching to see if there's anything you need to tweak to what you already have. Because listen, you do not have to create something new under the sun. There's nothing new under the sun, says the Bible. So don't worry about trying to come up with something that ain't never been done before. You just want to Google it to make sure that there is not an exact copy of what you're trying to name it. 
in the same industry as you are you know it could be the same thing and it's somewhere else and you can change and either make it you know change one letter and make it plural make a singular or change you know something I helped one of my clients to name her business and we were going with you know um, her last name logistics and she went and googled it and found that her last name is very very common so we had to switch it around she had to switch it around and just add you know global logistics you know her last name global logistics it made it unique so just adding a subtracting um, to make yourself unique so that your domain name is available so that you're set apart a little bit. You don't have to change the whole thing. You can just change one or two words here and there. You can play with the words. You can shorthand it, but it doesn't change what you came up with. Okay, so I hope that really helped. I hope that helped you guys out. If you're interested in learning about the mistakes that naming your business can cost you I can do that as a part two to this video let me know in the comment section and I hope this helps you you guys have a blessed day